Und check this. Servus and welcome back to the channel. We go ahead with changing the front tire. To change this quite old and really hard tire, we're gonna use my professional self-made tire tool. We'll start with pushing both sides down. Now with both sides pushed in, we can actually start pulling the tire. Okay. Now it's off. Bike dog to win, tire loose. Uh, unfortunately, these are with um, tubes. That's crap. And here it even says tire tubeless tire application. So I don't know why you you would use a a tube if you can't if you can just do it out. I don't know. Let's mount a new tire. Fun fact. Can you see? You can mount this one in both directions. That's strange. Use some soapy water. Mount it well first. Put on this nut. Then I push it on. I just figured out this. Can you see? Not good. No problem. Got it fixed by putting some pressure on the on the tube, and then it's then it went all right. <laughs> Finally. Now let's get some pressure on this thing. First with the auto valve and then with. Okay, it's not jumping. I'll mount the shroder valve and try again and let it sit for a while. While waiting for the tire to jump, we can mount these covers back on. We remove those screws, they fall down, we pick them up, and then we mount. We have some clips, just click it in, like that. It's all the same on the other side, I'm not going to show this. What's left to be mounted that fills up this hole? Right, the tank. The tank has this um, connector down there. Now it's on and plug this in afterwards. No big deal.
the last side panel. Clickety click it in. And put the screw in. This tire is not gonna jump with my soapy water unfortunately. You see here, it didn't jump to the edge. That's why I remove the air again. And then I apply this nice baby shampoo right on without water. That's the sound. The second side jumped off camera, but it jumped, and we can mount this front wheel back on. Put some fresh grease on this one. Front tire done. To remove the rear wheel we need a 17 and a 22 wrench. We loosen the axle. Ay, ay, ay. This one is tight. I forgot something. This is a different brake system and we need to loosen something to get it off. To get the brake off the wheel, we need to loosen this one. Oh. Remove the nut. Now we slide out that axle. Now push the wheel forward, take the chain off, and pull out the wheel. Take the brown brake out and remove it. Mounting that rear tire was so much easier because there's no tube inside. It's a tubeless one and it took like 5 or 10 minutes. I did it off camera. Easy one. Let's put it back in. When mounting the wheel, we want to make sure that we mount all these little spacers and so on. So don't miss anything and put some grease on the axle. Clean it and put some grease on. Before we tighten up the axle, we want to adjust the chain because it's way too loose. Chain play 8 to 10 centimeters, way too much. That's why we're gonna adjust it. What do we need to do to adjust the chain? We're gonna loosen up these two nuts on both sides, and with this thread, we can adjust the chain. We screw it in until the chain play is good. There's even a description right here. It says 15 millimeters in the middle. So we're gonna adjust it to 15 right here. So now we got
40 mil. Actually, the chain is quite worn. At some point it's stiff, some points it's loose. Not good, so I'm adjusted to have it. So it has some play, and then I'm good. You know what I just saw? The wheel is way too much on the right. I did it wrong. I used the wrong spacers on the left and right side. Sorry, wrong information. I tightened up that axle a little bit. Now it looks better. I think this one is just let bent a little bit. When I change the spacers, it won't fit. So it's correct. Now the play is good. I'm fine with that. Next step is to tighten up these nuts. But not too tight. Most people Make these too tight and then you destroy the thread here and then you can, I don't know, buy new parts, whatever. So just tighten it and it's good. Then we tighten up the axle. Whoa, check this out. I removed the sprocket cover because I want to clean the chain. And check this. Whoa. This hasn't been clean since ever. You can build streets with this. That nasty sprocket cover has been mounted back on already. What's the message of this sprocket cover? Clean this thing inside sometimes. Not every thousand kilometers, but probably every five or ten thousand. Your chain will thank you later. So I think everything is done on this bike. I changed the brake fluid already. If you want to know how to change the brake fluid yourself without any special tools, you will find another video on my channel. And I think this bike is ready to hit the street again. It's only the seat and two screws. It belongs here, but unfortunately I can't show you how to mount it. Finally the seat is mounted and everything on this bike is ready. Thank you very much for watching. It's highly appreciated. Leave a comment if this helped you, if you have the same bike or I don't know if it helped you changing the spark plug or anything. Tell me, I'm happy to read that. See you in the next video, the next project is waiting already.